Welcome to another episode of the Brosketeers Podcast. I'm your host, Isaac Cruz. And today, we are bringing the interview. We promise you that we're going work, to work, work abroad here on the Brosketeers TV and the Brosketeers Podcast. We're bringing SoundCloud rapper MG Magna. What's that? Yeah, what's up? So, MG Magna is a SoundCloud rapper, for those of you that don't know. And we are going to interview him today. You cannot see him on the on video. But he's right on a Discord call. Um, so, glad to have you on the show, MG. And tell us, uh, you got new records? You got something going up? Yeah, I got a, I got a few new projects coming up. I, I want to release this uh, EP. Uh, yeah, I've been deciding whether it's going to be an EP or, or an album. But... I'm not sure yet, you know. I, I'm still trying to decide. I already have the name for it, but I can't say anything. You know, so it's just kind of like it's a little more confidential, but you know, it's gonna be on the way pretty soon. I, I wanna, I wanna uh, ask you: Do you have? Uh, how was your collaboration with uh, Why on Alpine? Because I really like that song, Ride or Die. How was your collaboration? Do you guys have any disagreements? Do you guys love working together? Do you guys enjoy it? Oh yeah, we we worked on it. We well, we weren't in the studio or anything. We kind of just recorded files and sent them back and forth. So I would record one of my vocals, and he would like go on, you know, FL Studio or Audacity to uh, fix the vocals, and then he would do it himself. It, it, it was just a really cool process. Like, I like working with Ben or Alpine. Well, he goes by the name Ben, but, you know, I'm sure people are still going to know him as Alpine. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, it was really good. I liked working with uh, Ben, and he was just a really cool guy to work with. I'm, gonna, I'm planning on working with him more in the future. And, and yeah, I, so it, overall it was just a breeze. So I remember when um uh, your producer DM the 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 podcast production team, um, uh, and he 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 loved the way I review uh Warren Up Pines music, and you know because I review it, and he he wanted me to put your music on, so I did put your music on. It's on Spotify. It's everywhere in our podcast. Um, uh, do you? Do you uh do you uh love like what 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 was the 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 trigger point as we like to call it to say oh I want an interview with these guys these guys are amazing and then your your producer DM me how 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 did that work just well, curious to know I found your interview with Ben and I thought you guys were hilarious. So I, I thought like, yo, I need to tell this guy up. And like, I wanted to do an interview. So I was just like, you know, I'm sure you're going to interview Ben as well. Yeah, I'm planning to interview Ben and, and, and a little, little more up. Because we, we have like, because this is the thing, like, doing a, 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 a interview directly from an invite podcast was so complicated. And... A lot of people didn't know how to work with the Anchor app, and yeah. so we planned this YouTube thing. Mm -hmm. Like when I send you one of the videos, how what it looks like and what we're trying to do. So um, it worked for us so well that we're like, okay, it's time. I think we can interview one of the guys, and so I hit you first, and I'm hoping on getting Ben soon. So yeah, good we'll call. Yeah, um, yeah. Do do you have do you have uh? What's the thing that you love and hate about the music? Like, the thing that you love and the thing that you get uncomfortable with every time you make music? Um, I don't really necessarily get uncomfortable. I mean, like, usually I enjoy making music and stuff. But I'd say, like, the most difficult thing is probably, like, mixing the music and stuff and trying to make it sound right. But other than that, I don't really think there's really much of a difficulty um oh because a lot of people like 
I did an episode like the, the dark side of the music industry per se. And I always, I'm curious because I always want to talk about this with artists and people who are involved in the music industry. Um, and one of the things that, that, that our artists came across is jealousy or having someone that trying to push them back. Have you came across people like that? Uh, you mean like me? Yeah, like hatred people trying to push you back or jealousy or people that are just trying to... Uh, yeah, but... <laughs> I feel like I'm sure there's people that don't like my music. Like, why should I care? I would care because it's not like they can down into the shit I'm feeling. So why do I need to worry about what other people think about me? You know, or even my music. Yeah, cause like, so it, like, you just gotta you gotta think like you gotta say, like you can't care about what other people think, right? And like. You just need to do your thing. Like, you, you, you do your thing and that's it. And, and, like, fuck what everybody has to say. And that's the mindset. Every, that, even if your music is good, people are going to say it's bad. Like, you know, like, you know, it's, I know my music's at a good point. But if someone's going to crash on me for some reason, then I ain't going to listen. Like, if they're not giving me no criticism, then why should I pay attention, you know? Yeah, because they, all they do, because all they do is, all those negative thoughts, all they do is damage you. Like, yeah, they damage yeah. you, so what's the point of listening to them? And that's why a lot of these rappers take drugs and stuff, because they can't handle, a lot of the times, most of these rappers can't handle the, the hate and the, the negativity surrounding their career, so they have to, like, resort to smoking and doing drugs and shit, and it's really sad, but I don't know. Because let, let me tell you, the music industry has a lot of pressure. So I'm sure you're like, you already know that and you're already used to it and you came across pressure. I wouldn't say I'm used to it. I feel like I'll be used to it if I, you know, blow up or something. But, but no, nah, I don't know if I'm used to it yet. So have you, have you, uh, what, what's the thing, uh, what what are you planning for your uh, future music career, mu musical career, your your, your or rapping career? You 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 you're planning on on on, on taking this seriously and, and and going up to the top. Yeah, I really want to. I really want to try my hardest and try to produce and make all the music I can. And really, I want this twenty twenty one to be my year, and I hope it is. Because I've been through a lot of shit, and it's like, the more shit you go through, mm -hmm. the more meaningful it is when you get to the top. Every, like, every artist has a story, and every artist thinks, uh, every artist put their, 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 their feelings, their past, their, dark, their, their darkest times in, in their music, even rappers. Mm -hmm. Have you yeah. have have you put a song like let's say have you write a song or are planning to have a song or already have a song they haven't published on SoundCloud or any platform that talks about or you put in your darkest times and how music helps you? Uh, honestly, a lot of my songs revolve around somebody or something from the past. But I try to keep it on the down low and focus more on the positive things. And I try to be more, because I ain't going to rap about, like, being sad, but, but, like, not all the time anyways, but, like, I like to focus more on the positive aspects of my music. So, like, I like to incorporate it into a song. Like, my newest song, Racking Up, you should check it out. It's on my I, I have but, it right here, though. I have it right here. Oh, you do? Yeah, I have it right here on the computer in Zanko right now. <laughs> you gonna play it for everyone to hear? If you want me to, I can play it. Yeah, that would be good. Oh, no, nah, man, you should. So, you want to play right now? Yeah, yeah. So, people, let, yeah, let's play it right now. It's a two-minute song. We play and then we keep continuing. People, right. enjoy racking up. Uh, by MG Magna, produced by Pario. That's how you say, am I right, Pario? Par 
So people enjoy rock, racking up, and after the song, we continue with MG Magna here at the Prosketeers Podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Rack It Up, R- Racking Up by MG Magna, produced by Prayo. And good song, good song. Uh, what was, what, 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 what were you thinking when you wrote that, when you wrote that song? What came to your mind? Um, well, I'm not going to get into specifics, but something like personal happened where I was in a relationship of some sort, but ultimately it didn't really work out so and it kind of ended on like kind of a negative light too so this song was more or less focused on you know trying to forget about that person and trying to move on and just focusing on me yeah because it's it's better when someone and the advice i can give you it's better to uh, focus on yourself focus on what you want and success yeah, yeah, of then just wasting on wasting time on someone that doesn't even want to be with you or doesn't even guarantee you any good you know um so that's why i believe um that's the advice i could give you coming from someone like me that's been not broken a lot um, yeah of course but what? that's mainly the song also shout out to ben for making the song too Oh, Ben, ben keep, keep helping you? Has Ben help you with any more songs behind the scenes? Yes, he has. We usually work together with you. Uh, yeah, because... Uh, so, I interview Ben. Uh, like, I, like, on interview, the, I couldn't post with Ben because it was horrible. Um, mm-hmm. Not on the sense of the questions or anything, but the sense of, like, the quality. Um... And Ben was telling me that it's really hard to put your name out there. Do you think the same way? Do you think it's hard to put yourself out there on the music industry? 
Um, it, yeah, it, because there's a lot of, there's hundreds, there's thousands of people that are trying to do the same thing you do. And when, like, that's the case, it's really hard to come up with music and stuff. So, like, but, like, I know I can give up. Because, uh, no, I know eventually I know that it'll pay off me if I keep working and trying to produce more music and make more music and just focus on my grind. Do you have any favorite rappers that inspire you to be what you are today? Uh, I'd say a, a, one of them, maybe MF Doom. He's one of my one of the inspirations, definitely. Uh, like trap artist, probably Lil Uzi as well. Lil Uzi, Cardi, good. play Cardi. Do you I know? Love those uh, guys. Do you know Shoreline Mafia? Shoreline Mafia, yes, I do. Oh boy, Shoreline Mafia, good. Shoreline do that shit. Yeah, my favorite rappers. We 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 actually play Shoreline Mafia on the last music to music segment. Um, oh, for real? Yeah, yeah. We have a we have we have a bunch of new segments, including the music to music segment. So, yeah. Oh, that's good. I think Ben knows because Ben Ben listens to our podcast a lot. He doesn't even he doesn't even miss an episode. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I can't wait for him to watch this one. I'm sure he's going to be yeah, pleasantly yeah, yeah. surprised. Well, once he watches this one, he's going to text me, hit me up, they want to send me back. Yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm for sure, I'm for sure. Everything's working well. Uh, yeah, do, do you, did, have you, have, and let me ask you this question, because I asked about it, that, that, this question. Now that you have music on SoundCloud, that you're well known as a SoundCloud rapper, and that you're balling on SoundCloud, I'm amazing. Have you have any different attention, like different type of attention from people? Like I'm talking about like there were people that didn't want to be your friends in the past and there were girls that didn't want to be with you in the past and now they find out you're doing this and now they're like, oh, my boy, my boy, like, and, and you're like, nah, 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 nah. No, you see, I was just talking to someone about that yesterday. I will never, and I mean never, uh, accept someone's friendship that because some of those people that are just trying to be my friend when they know about my success they're just trying to use me for my money and clout and I'm not really gonna go for that and especially if I blow up and stuff like I'm never never gonna do that like no girl no guy no no one the, the the only the only the only uh, girls that you can see if you get famous are the Playboy Mansion the Playboy Mansion girls. Yeah. <laughs> they can invite you to the Playboy Mansion and you get rocking there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Fendi, Phoenix Flessing was rocking it on the on the Playboy Mansion the other day. Mm-hmm. He was performing live there. I'm saying like, you you could end up doing that too, you know. So that's what I'm saying. Yeah, but my like, yeah. once because it happens to me once you. Do something or get popular with something. You get like this different kind type of attention. It's like, well, why now? But like, you just yeah, ignore. It. You just ignore it. Yeah, yeah, I can get it. But yeah, I've just been not worrying about what other people think about me and stuff. Because you know, what's the point? I've been, I've been, I've been on on YouTube. And I see that you don't have a music video. Are you planning to get one? Oh, I have an announcement to make, actually. You know what? I'm announcing on here. Go ahead, Me go and ahead. Ben are actually making a music video for Ride or Die for these Oh, so the people, you heard it. A music video for Ride or Die. You know what? I was picturing that. No no cap. Oh, really? Like, really. Like, in my mind, I was like, I was not thinking, because I, like, okay, I don't want you to get this the wrong way, but I was like, I I directed a music video once in in the past, and is that is in my old Instagram the picture right away, um, and I was picturing you know what you know when I say me you know like I was in my mind I was just playing around like you know directing a music video with these guys and like for Ride or Die, cause like I was listening to Ride or Die and I had like these few ideas and like you know what I was picturing like an actual music video with it, 
you know, uh, you in the car and then just driving past with a fancy car and then getting on a house and mansion and just writing like a small letter. Yeah, like, we have a lot of ideas for that video, so stay tuned. And like, I was picturing an actual music video, and now that you're saying that, that I just decided to put it up. Like, I actually had in my mind of an actual music video picture while listening to the song, you know? Yeah, it's gonna come soon. It's, co it's coming soon, right? Like, uh, who's helping you guys with the music video? The cameras and stuff? Who, who's brought in that? Uh, I believe it's Ben's brother. And we're just trying to get more people for the music video. It's going to be a pretty high quality video. So stay tuned. It's going to be really cool. Did you, did, did you plan to get an album? Like an actual album with music? Yes, this evening. So I got a... I got a music video on the way, I got an album on the way, bro. I got a lot of stuff, I got singles too, I, I got singles for the release, and yeah, I got, a, I got a lot of stuff planned for 2021, man. How long, how long have you been um, rapping for? I started rapping in, I believe I want to say October of 2019, so about like year it's gonna be two years uh do, do you have and uh one, one question is like have you um uh, what was the thing that you like most about the studio recording the studio or anything fancy related to um, music well i don't really record in a studio i kind of record at my house but um but like you have like a studio I set up there right my, like because i see your highlights yeah myself. so i just kind of like me and my brother can work on it because my brother's really good at like constructing the way i sing and stuff like for my music do you do you do you um what can i say so um uh, did you write your own music? Yes, I do. All of them, right? All of them, like no yeah, cap. All of it. Oh, how how yeah. long does how long does it take you to write a a song, minimum? Um, maybe like two or three days. Yeah, cause uh, if I'm really feeling it that day. Cause there's a lot of songwriters that they talk and they say that writing a song is not easy and that it takes a lot of time because they gotta rhyme it with words, they gotta, you know, they gotta check that it goes with the beat, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like I really always fun. do that. Um, what, what, why my music be popping, bro. <laughs> yeah, like, how, how does that work? How does the computer thing and, and, and with the music and the sounds work? Like, I know what it is, like, they, they are bars, and then you, how, how does that work? How do you guys, because I don't know anything about music. I, I know podcasts, but no music. My shit. Often, bro, I'm telling you, the reason why I work so hard on it is because you gotta have determination for one. You can't just sit down and be like, I only feel like writing something today. Like, you have to have motivation. That's why I like to go back and listen to my old music to give me motivation. And with the setup thing and all that, I just use a microphone. Uh, it's called a Piley, a Piley microphone. And I have a speaker too. I got some headphones. It's not really fancy or nothing. It's just more or less something that could help me, like, make my music and my, like, you know, the proper things that'll help me make my music and all that. So I'm not really worried about a fancy, you know, setup or something. Yeah, you just, you just get, it's, you just work with inspiration and motivation and you just put everything in your head. Yeah, for real. So, um, so yeah, like all that, like, because I, 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 st I still wondering, like, how does that, like, you know, like they have bars on the music thing. Cause I don't know anything about music. All I know is podcasting and stuff. Like they have this amazing, uh, like lines and stuff set on the computer and it's like vocals and stuff lines and they, they fit it in, they fit it out. They, they, they stretch it out. They, they stretch it in, um. How does that work? How do you work with that? It's related to music. Uh, it's like, what you mean? It's a it's a bar on the computer. 
It's like they're oh yeah, like dragging the songs in. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, how do you guys work with that? Uh, well, I use Audacity, and I kind of import the files, like the beat or whatever, and then I record over it. And if it's like you know, if there's something we need to do, I can like split the track and all that. It's actually pretty like pretty straightforward. I mean, you can look up tutorials. You you should go like to college for that. Like you should like you should go to college to learn that stuff. So you like that stuff, and it will be way advantage to you. You know, not just an old rapper that just not just this amazing rapper that can write, but a rapper that can also produce and work. And, and an engineer with his own music. Yeah, for real. So like when you it's so like when you work or uh, because like when you work with somebody else, it's difficult that when you work with yourself. Because when you work with somebody else, you're trying to put your own ideas, but then the the, per, the motherfucker that's beside you working with you is like, no, I want to put it this way, but you want to put it this way. So it's better to work with yourself. It's way much better. Um. Which I, that's why I believe you should go to college so you can you should learn that stuff about music since you're motivated uh, on rapping and stuff. And since you write your own music, you can also learn how to produce it and how to engineer, uh, engineering with that and all that stuff. Yeah. So you can work with your own music. You don't need anybody to help you. Yeah, and, we'll see. You know. I'll definitely take that into consideration. Yeah, you should. You should. I... I give it you. I give you. I, I don't know. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know shit about music. I listen to music, but I don't know shit, bro. Like I definitely don't. Thank you, Chris. I I I, I definitely don't know anything about music. Um, but what I know is that when you're like in in the music business, it's better when you work when you know how to do everything. Yeah. Because you can work on your own beats, on your own stuff, and it's amazing. Um. Yeah. Last question. I'm gonna ask you the last question, uh, and to give to let you know with the final thoughts. And I wanna also tell you something to you and Ben. But like, I, I told Ben, but I wanna tell you just if you guys wanna help out. Um, last question is, uh, in in, in general, and like as a resume, what do you want to accomplish with your music? What do you want? What's the what's the advice and the the accomplishment? Not just the accomplishment with your music towards the audience, but what's the advice to those teenagers that want to get into music, they want to, and don't know how to work with it, and don't know how to do it, and want to get some motivation, and are looking for, for from an artist's perspective that's been working with it for years on how to succeed and how to get in or start on the rapid music business. Uh, well, one thing I can say to the people that want to do music and I want to pursue a career in rapping is to follow your follow the path, follow the path of determination and willpower. Keep striving. Even if people tell you that you can't do it, you got to keep going. Because I know, bro, trust me, there's going to be people telling you your music trash when you first start off. You can't let that get you. You got to keep going. I keep being motivated. And it's like, keep listening to music you like, too. Take inspiration from artists that you like. Like, you know? Like, you want to, like, kind of, you know, get that inspiration going so you can kind of interpret that style, but also your own style into your own music. So that's what I got to say for the people that want to start. Be, be, a, doing be original, music. right? Original, hundred yeah. percent original, no cap. Any yeah, final thoughts? Like, oh. huh? Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, you were saying something. I'm sorry, I cut you off. Hold on, go ahead. Oh uh, yeah, but of course, like people should always, you know, do what they love, even if people if people tell them that they can't do it, then they, then that's just stupid. Like you can do it, man. Like anyone can do anything if they put their mind to it. I know that's kind of yeah, like, yeah. You know, that's overused, but it's true. Hard work pays off. Like for example, and I want to bring this example. I actually like when we started when I started podcasting. Before I started podcasting, and you're gonna laugh with this, and it's alright. But like I was trying to be on the music business, and I couldn't sing shit. Like I sing like a little lady that was about to have a an orgasm because I couldn't sing shit. 
Honestly, I couldn't sing shit. And like, yeah, Chris, like, yeah, that's the producer, Chris. I have enough headphones and he put us all this crap for the mixture. Uh, I couldn't, so I put myself into podcast and radio and I, I, and that's when I started to get positive stuff, positive message. And people liked my podcast. Even Ben, Ben texted me out of nowhere when I started, when he listened to the first episode, sent me a screen. She's like, it's really good. And he was laughing with his friends. I, and like, I actually found, found my passion and what I'm good about. And the, out of the 100%, I get the 100% of positive messages and only the 20% or the 10% of negative messages. So what I'm trying to say with this is, don't listen to the negative messages. They, they, they're just trying to take you down, you know? Because like, this is how I say it, how I say it, and this is how MG Matt Matt say it, say it too. Uh, for those people that can say, oh, you, you can rap or whatever, or I can rap, or you can rap, or when people come to me and say, oh, you, I said you can do podcasts, I dare you to sit down your ass over here and do an hour podcast as if you're brave. NG Magna here dares you to rap to see if you can rap for exactly. real. You know, if you have the boss to this. So, you know, the negative thoughts is, you know, take it out of your mind. Uh, uh, Angie Bagna, I just want to let you know, uh, I try to talk to Ben, see if you can guys, you and Ben are, can collaborate uh, and, you know, record us a song for like 20 seconds of shows. We can use as an intro and outro. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk to Ben about it and see what he says. Cause I, it's just a 20 seconds. I, it doesn't have to be long. Just a 20, cause we're trying to get a, uh, uh you know, a song here. <laughs> yeah, no problem, man. Cause I'm we'll trying, yeah. So, any final thoughts before we go? Nah, I think that's good. Okay, people, that's it. We have NG Magna on the show today. We'll see you tomorrow, Sunday. And we have it in a spring break season. We're having a spring break season, so we'll see you on a spring break season. I'll be drinking, getting drunk as fuck today. I'll be smoking a blonde here too, live. So, <laughs> so we'll see you in another episode of the Prosketeers Podcast on Sunday and the spring break season with NG Magna here on the show, people. NG Magna, go hit him up on Instagram. Go hit him up on SoundCloud and go hit him up with his newest song, Racking Up. And don't miss the music video, Ride or Die. We're done here.